Hello, welcome to Calopsia. In the previous video, we had discussed about what is psychology and what are its perspectives. Today, we are going to discuss on the scopes of psychology. So let's start with the main opted branch of psychology that is clinical psychology. Clinical psychology is a broad branch of psychology that diagnoses and treats people with mental, emotional and behavior disorders. But we often get confused with the word psychiatrist and psychologist. Psychiatrists are medical doctors who can give medicines to their patients. But psychologists cannot give medicines to their patients. Rather, they can give counseling and therapy. The second opted branch is school psychology. School psychologists are people that support students' ability to learn and improve teachers' ability to teach. They also help students and the youth to grow academically, emotionally, socially and behaviorally. The next one is counseling psychology. You need not get tensed with the word counseling. Counseling psychologists help people to elevate their problems, improve their well-being and also resolve crisis. The next branch of psychology is industrial or organizational psychology. It is also known as IO psychology. This branch of psychology uses its principles and its theories in organization so that they can improve the workplace productivity. These psychologists help in selection, recruitment, assessment and also they help in conflict resolution and team building within the employees. The fifth branch is social psychology. Social psychology studies social influence, social interaction and social perception that influence individuals and group. This word is sometimes confused with the word sociology. Social psychology tends to focus on individual or a small group, but sociology focuses on a very large population such as an entire social group or the culture as a whole. The sixth branch is cognitive psychology. Psychologist examines internal memory process such as memory, perception, learning and language. They focus on how people attain information, process and recall the information. The seventh branch of psychology is behavioral psychology. Psychologist studies behaviors of humans and animals. They use research based learning to help patients modify their behaviors and use behavior therapy to treat anxiety disorder, depression, substance abuse and mental illness. This field when combined with cognitive psychology can attain better results. The eighth branch is developmental psychology. Psychologists study the human growth and development that occurs throughout the entire lifespan. It includes not only physical development but also cognitive, social, intellectual, perceptual, personality and emotional growth. The ninth branch is Forensic Psychology. In this, psychologists study of how criminals behave and think. It focuses on psychological theory and practice in criminal, court and correction system. The tenth branch is Evolutionary Psychology. In this, the psychologists study human behavior and animal behavior in an evolutionary context. They also study adaptability and the deeply rooted tendencies of sustainability. The next branch is Neuropsychology. This branch focuses on the assessment of brain functioning in a clinical setting. The twelfth branch is Positive Psychology. Psychologists do research into maximum human potential to understand happiness and hope and they find how to apply this understanding in improving the quality of life. They also integrate the concept of emotional intelligence. The 13th branch is Sports Psychology. Sports psychologists are licensed mental health professionals who function as trainers, consultants or therapists that assist athletes from all sports disciplines. They help the athletes to rehabilitate after injury, deal with anxiety, improve the performance and achieve their goals. 14th one is Cyber Psychology. It is also known as Internet Psychology or Web Psychology. It is a new and emerging field that investigates how technology such as computers and the internet impact the manner in which people think and behave on both individual level and group level. It provides care for the distant locations. It informs the public about the developing technological dangers and also 
works to improve human technological interaction the 15th is geriatric psychology it is a field of psychology that specializes in mental and physical health of individuals in the later stages of life that is the old age they study a variety of psychological abilities that deplete as aging occurs such as memory learning and capabilities of coordination the next branch is experimental psychology experimental psychologists are a type of psychologists who use scientific methods to collect data and perform research they explore an immense variety of psychological phenomena ranging from learning to personality and to all cognitive processes 17th branch is psycho oncology it is an interdisciplinary field at the combination of physical social emotional behavioral and psychological aspects of the cancer experience for both the patients as well as the caregivers it is also known as psychiatric oncology or psychosocial oncology from this we can understand that we have a lot of scopes and specializations after you pursue your bachelor's and masters in psychology i hope that these things are clear to all those who are planning to take up psychology as your profession or to those who have already completed your bachelor's or masters i thank all those who are watching my videos and to others who haven't subscribed me though you're watching my channel updates i hope that you will also subscribe me soon see you soon with the next video bye